Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Cold Line, which is a horror game from the creators of No Players Online, where the world is on the brink of nuclear war. 1962, the height of the Cold War. You are the chairman of the USSR. Due to a technical failure, a 50 megaton nuclear warhead is on its way to New York City. Thanks to breakthroughs in Soviet aviation, your military advisor estimates delivery in 10 minutes. Your last hope of preventing Armageddon is to get the U.S. Army to intercept the plane. Time to call the president. So this is an inverse version of, uh... Oh god, what am I doing? Dr. Strangelove. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with the president? Yes. Press 1. If your matter is less urgent and you would like to speak to a representative, press 2. President. For other matters, press 3. In One. order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. Oh my god. Please enter your six-digit identification code and close with pound. I don't have a code. In order for us to connect you to the president... That was not the right code, or you may not have the clearance to contact the president. Oh god, do I need to talk to representative? Please enter your Washington Moscow hotline verification code again and close with pound. That was not the right code. Would you like to try again? No. Press 1. If you would like to return to the main menu, press 2. 2. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an Two. urgent matter? We value your call. A representative will speak with you shortly. Oh my god, you're going to do that. You are 14th in line. Expected wait time is 34 minutes. What? I don't have time to wait for this. Do I wait it out? Maybe, maybe they'll get to me early. No. Um. Maybe I should have chosen the third option. Our wait times are unusually high right now. It might be best to try again at another time. Would you like to continue waiting? Press 1. If you would like to go back to the main menu, press 2. 2 for right now. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Mo Okay, hit 3. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, press 1. If you're calling about our nuclear program, press 2. If you're calling about applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code or getting a reminder for your verification code, press 3. 3. That's what we want. To apply for Washington Moscow hotline verification code, press 1. For a reminder of your verification code, press 2. 2. Please enter your three-digit reminder key and close with pound to get a reminder for your verification code. What's my reminder key? That was not the right code. Would you like to try again? No. Press 1. To return to the main menu, press 2. Oh my god. Hi. You have reached the United States it's Washington Moscow Three. hotline. Three. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, okay. press 1. If you're calling about our nuclear program, to apply for Washington Moscow hotline verification, I think we gotta code, apply. press 1. For a reminder of your verif- Actually, you can somewhat tell- verification code, we need to know if you are a low-ranking or high-ranking official. I'm high-ranking, I low think. If you are low-ranking, press 1. If you are high-ranking, press 2. 
Because you can see there's some more um, indents of certain buttons. I wonder if that's going to be a thing. What is your function? If you are head of defense, press 1. If you are head of international relations, press 2. If you are president, king, or chairman of your nation, press 3. Thank you for applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code. Your code is 0, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Oh god. To return to the main menu, press 0. I need the code again. Thank you for applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code. Your code is 0, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Okay. To return to the main menu, press 0. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter? Okay, so like now we can line with the president? get to the president. Press 1. In order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. What's that noise? Please enter your six-digit identification code and close with pound. That was not the right code. How was not the right code? Not have the clearance to contact the president. Please enter your Washington Moscow hotline verification code again and close with pound. That was not the right code. That was not the right code. Am I not hitting fast enough? Like to try again? Or I just don't have, not have enough clearance? Press one. If you would like to return to the main menu, press two. Let's go back to the main menu real quick. Yeah, they should have told me I was the president. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, press one. If you're calling about our nuclear program, press Go back here. To apply for Washington Moscow hotline verification code, press one. For a Press one. To apply for a new verification code, we need to know if you are a low-ranking or high-ranking official. If you are low-ranking, press 1. 2. What is your function? If you are head of defense, press 1. If you are head of international relations, press 2. If you are president, king, or chairman of your nation, press 3. Press 3. In order to grant you a Washington Moscow hotline verification code, we need to confirm you are not a robot. Oh no. Please type the following code, 1, 4, 6, 2, and close with the pound key. Thank you for applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code. Your code is 4, 4, four 5, five. Seven, eight. Three, to get a reminder of your code, use your reminder key, okay. which is one, three, four, four, three. five. To return to the main menu, press zero. Zero. Mr. President? Hi. You have reached the United States Washington one. Moscow hotline. One. In order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. Please enter your six digit identification. Is that good? Thank you for inputting your verification code. Welcome back, Chairman Lenkov. We will now redirect you to the president. Please wait. Please don't have like a waiting. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, stop. Stop making more taxes. There's gonna be a lot of new open real estate in New York pretty soon if you do not pick up that phone. Unfortunately, the president is out of office at this time. Ah! Would you like to book an appointment? Press 1. Is there an emergency that cannot wait? Yes. Press 2. 2. Understood. We are dedicated to helping you out with your emergency. Can you tell us more about what type of emergency you're experiencing? The apocalypse. Is the nature of your emergency economic? Press 1. Is the nature of your emergency related to nuclear war? Press 2. We are very concerned to hear you are experiencing an emergency regarding nuclear war, and we <laughs> take your call very seriously. To help us understand the problem, can you tell us if your emergency endangers U.S. soil or not? If yes, press 1. Yes, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 
Nuclear emergencies that threaten U.S. territory is a very important issue. Is it possible that you may have accidentally targeted the no. United States and need help with intercepting a yes. missile? Yes, yes, well, that one. If yes, press one. One. Did you know you can order a special interception military mission from this menu? In order to do so, we need the military special permission code that aligns with the type of ballistic missile. If you have a code ready, press one. Oh no. If not, press two to return to the main menu. We're dead. Hi. You have reached the United States. Well, we're going to get the bad ending first. Hotline. You have to go into the menu Thank and do the call. uh Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with the president? I see what's supposed one. to go down. If your matter is less urgent and you would like to sp If you're calling about renewing trade accords Goodbye, with the world. White House, press 1. If you're calling about our nuclear program, press 2. New York City has fallen. Your full menu navigation was too slow to save the world. Press 1 to play again. Press 2 to quit the game. So number 1, if we're going to speedrun this, go to the third menu. We need to find out the information about the ballistic system so we can have the system Hi. intercept the plane. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for Skip that. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, not that press one too. One. The United States prides itself on its advanced nuclear technology. To learn more about how nuclear weapons prevent war, press one. To Might learn be one. more about the types of weapons the United States types of may weapons. use in relation to thermonuclear warfare, press two. Two, that's gonna be it. Please select a type of weapon which you would like to know more about. Press 1 for offensive weapons such as intercontinental ballistic missiles. Press 2 to know more about defensive weapons such as interception planes. Offensive weapons are used to strike tactical target over world spanning distances. To know more about defensive weapons, press 2. To return to the main... Defensive weapons include jet fighters that are designed specifically to take down a moving ballistic missile. Did you know? You can order emergency military operations such as the interception of an accidental nuclear missile from this menu. Interesting. To do so, you need to have a military special permission code that consists of two numbers based on speed of the missile and two numbers based on the best interception method. What? To know more about speed, press 1. To know more about the type of interception method, press 2. If okay. your ballistic missile is slow moving, press 1. How do I know if it's slow if moving? If your ballistic missile is fast moving and can cross thousands of miles in minutes, press 2. Okay, that's 2. Fast moving ballistic missiles have a military special permission code that starts with 4 0. Four, zero. To learn more about interception methods, press 1. To return to the menu, if your ballistic missile is sent from the northern hemisphere, it requires an X form interception method. For more about this method, press 1. If it is a Southern Hemisphere missile, it requires Y-form interception. It's gonna be one. X-form ballistic interception methods have a military special permission code that ends with the digits 8-1. 8-1. To learn so four, more zero, about eight, ballistic one. speeds, press 1. To return to the menu, press 2. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow I'm curious hotline. if our code from the previous playthrough is Thank good. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an... One. In order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. Please enter your six-digit identification code and close. Thank you for inputting your verification code. Welcome back, Chairman yeah. Lenka. Yeah, okay, so the, the codes are we will consistent. We now redirect you to the president. Please wait. Then we gotta wait through this. It took us a good, like few minutes just to get through like the finding out the code of the missile unfortunately the president is out of office at this time would you like to book an appointment press one no 
Is there an emergency? Two. Understood. We are dedicated to helping you out with your emergency. Could you just can yell operator on this? Can you tell us this? more about what type of emergency you're experiencing? Is the nature of your emergency economic? No, number two. We are very concerned to hear you are experiencing an emergency regarding nuclear war, and we take your call very seriously. To help us understand the problem, can you tell us if your emergency endangers U.S. soil or not? If yes, press 1. Press 1. Nuclear emergencies that threaten U.S. territory is a very important issue. Is it possible that you may have accidentally targeted the United States and need help with intercepting a missile? If yes, press 1. Press 1, then we got put in the code 4081. Did you know you can order a special interception military mission from this menu? In order to do so, we need the military special permission code that aligns. Please enter the four digit military special permission code to engage an interception mission, then close with the pound key. The code you entered is for intercepting a fast-moving missile with an X-form interception method. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Press 1. That's gotta be it. Are you absolutely sure? Remember, this action can only be performed once. Press 1 if you are absolutely sure. I am absolutely sure. Press 2 if you'd like to return... Understood. We will send out a special military interception operation right away. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, thank you. Successfully prevented nuclear Armageddon. You are the master of phone menus. Press 1 to play again. Press 2 to quit the game. So, I guess that's it for Cold Line. I think this was a very creative game. Um, the developer, you know, like, I think they're most famous one to know of players online, but they've made a, quite a few games. They've also made the uh, Spookware games, which are a WarioWare style uh, kind of horror game. But all their games have a distinct style, like just graphically in their presentation. And they generally have like a unique gimmick. And converting the idea of the kind of annoying phone menus and robocall and all that kind of stuff and making it tied into some Dr. Strangelove kind of situation. It was a pretty clever idea. It worked really well. The sheer amount of options makes you almost like want to kind of go through all of them, even though like, you know, your life is on the line, essentially. And there's quite a bit of detail to like the amount of like options they actually are presenting you and just see how many menus you got like go back and forth, back and forth, and so on. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching play Cold Line. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.